Okay, hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to part 6 of our Crash Course API tutorial. So till last video, we have seen uh, how do we create a get and post endpoint uh, in Python and also we have seen how do we test that using Postman. Now we are going to continue and then do the put and delete methods. Okay, So let's quickly do that. Um, so what we are going to do, so here we have the function already there, I mean the routes are there. So why do we use put and delete? So put is normally used to delete or no, update a resource in the server side and delete is used to delete a resource from the server side. So here we are using the resource as uh, you know uh, users array which is an object of user with the name attribute. We are going to see how we are going to modify that name using a put method and delete a name or the object from using delete method. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so here I'm going to create a new endpoint at app dot route. It's going to be api slash v1 slash users. Then we need to know which ID we're going to change. Okay, and we say this is going to be methods equals to uh, put. Okay, so that put will be allowed. So modify user ID. So since we are having a path parameter to receive the parameter you need to pass a parameter in the function okay fine so we get a number say for example something like one two three so that okay so objective my objective is a uh, uh, modified uh, user equal to uh, i need to call a function called uh, modify use modify user by id then i need to pass the id and the name so this name how do we receive it will come in the request body so name equals to uh, request dot json it will come in json format and then we say a name attribute okay then it will come here it will be passed and if we have the modified user modified user then we can just return json if i of that modified user if not then we need to return uh, like uh, user not found so what we need now we need a we need this function modify user by id okay let me copy that let's go here let's write a function here so it takes an id and uh, name attribute okay so we need to look for this array <coughs> okay for this id and if you found then we should replace this name to that uh, name okay so what I'm going to do for i in range of length of that users array. So we were looping from 0 to the uh, length minus 1. So here the each object I'll get in uh, users of i. Okay, And I'm going to looking for that id and uh, if that is equal to equal to the id passed then this is the object. So then users of that particular indexed object of the name attribute change it to the name which is passed into the function and then uh, now this is done right so basically i'm going to say return users of that i so that it will be returned and if this for loop is failed it's not getting returned inside the for loop then we're going to return false so if this false comes then automatically or modify user here will be false so it will come to else condition and so on okay let's save this and let's go to our terminal dot by starter so let's go to here first let's check our get endpoint works so get endpoint of users we have oh, just a minute what happened here db is not defined where is the db Okay, so DB I used to demonstrate one thing. I'll I'll tell you at the end of the program, uh, end of the video. Sorry, let me remove that. Okay, save and then try again. Oh, what again? Get all is not defined. Okay. try this time okay this uh, i have done some extra work on that i will explain you at the end of the video what i have done basically to separate that uh, uh, you know the logic and the route separately anyway so now it works okay so if you go to the post endpoint and try to add one thing then it works it should work okay 
fine now my idea is i need to change this id3 or you uh, know uh, then i need to go to the id3 okay and then pass a new name okay so i say ms dhoni okay then if you click send then we get method not allowed why is that so because it's a post request okay we should put, put request send okay we got id3 ms dhoni okay so if, if you go to the get request obviously we'll get that but if you go to the slash users then we should get all the three with the updated name so the put request put request box okay and if we pass um, you know something like which is not there in the array for the put request then obviously we'll get is not found fine now let's go and then do um, what is that delete request okay so let's go down so here app dot route so we're gonna pretty much copy the get request of getting the user by one id and then okay but we're gonna say it's going to be uh, methods equals to uh, delete okay so here it's going to be delete user for that id then um, we're gonna call uh, a method uh, delete user by id we'll pass the id then we get uh, a true or false okay deleted if it is deleted okay delete then we're gonna say that uh, you know basically something like uh, json if i let's create a uh, json something like a status true message user deleted okay and then uh, let's copy this if we get a false then we say status is false user not found okay so let's save this so now what we need we need this function delete user by id okay let's go to the app we it'll get an id so it's very simple so if this id is found then we delete okay so for i in range of length of users uh, if users of that index i mean that particular index equal to okay that uh, of id equal to the id passed then we need to delete that users of that i okay then we can return true if not return false save this and let's see if this works so currently if we go to that uh, uh, the get request since we restarted the server when we save it is already restarted we have only two i'm going to just add one uh, same thing ms dhoni that's okay we got it now if you go to that uh, get request we should see the ms dhoni okay now if we want to delete such in so we need to go to a delete request and pass in the id2 then okay what is wrong lynch is not spelling must oh my god okay save okay now let's blue first and get so that we know it's there so we have already have the number two okay that is the um, such in which is default uh, thing then i go to delete and then uh, try it says user deleted okay cool now if you try again it is not already deleted right so if you try again it says uh, false user not found okay that is a spelling mistake here <laughs> anyway not found so so that is the four different http endpoints we want to cover okay it's the basic crud operation create read update and delete now uh, the thing which I have told you earlier, okay. So we want to s now we have everything in a single file, single program that is not good, okay. We want to separate the logic of uh, handling users array separately and uh, responding to the route separately. So th that way we can easily maintain the code. So what we are going to do, I'm going to copy that from the array to then all the functions which is used to handle that. I'm going to cut it and then put into a new file called users.py, okay, here save it now if you want to use this into our program then what we need to do basically we need to do something like um, import users 
So, this will work ok, then if you want to uh, uh, call this function modify user by id, then we should do something like users dot modify user by id, but to make it simplified I am going to say input users as db, so it is like alias. Now, what we need to do? So, first of all here we are uh, returning the users directly ok, because the users is a variable in the same program, but now it is in a different uh, uh, file ok. So, to make it more um, uh, meaningful we are going to create a function like uh, get all all users which will simply return the users array from this program ok, save it. Now, here we are going to say instead of this db dot get all users it is a function ok. Now, when we read this it makes more sense ok. Now, uh, here we basically need to say db dot get users by id that is it and then the users will come we will be returning it ok and here it will be uh, db dot uh, so db dot create user ok then this will be ok and uh, modify user here it will be db dot modify user by id. So, now this also gives us another flexibility ok. So, if I have modify user here the modify user function in the uh, in the file can be the same name like db dot modify user, but here we are made uh, previously we made it as modify user by id because both the functions are sitting in the same program. So, we cannot have we cannot have two functions with the same name ok, but now since we have a separate file we can use like db dot modify user if that makes sense for you then it is possible ok that is it that works and here delete user we are going to say db dot uh, delete user by id then that is it ok let us save it and hopefully it should work, let us try get request to the full users, we got two Then let us go to the post request and then let us add one user and then let us go to put request and change ms to just dhoni it ah, ok, so we have to pass the id, <laughs> it worked and then if you go to delete request and if you delete the one then my name should be deleted that is deleted. We go to get request for all the users then we should see the one remote ok. So, here um, yeah so we have done pretty much the coding, but the fact is uh, there are a lot of uh, areas where we are thinking we will get a positive response ok. There is no error handling at all. So, just for the demonstration purpose, we made this uh, program. So, just to tell you one thing directly, if I go to delete request, okay, and then I delete uh, user 2, then it will be deleted, user 3 will be deleted. Now, we have empty array, okay. So, if you go to get request for all users, we get just an empty object, okay. If you want to add a new object, then it will be an error. I will tell you upfront, okay. We cannot add a new user, it will be an error because we are assuming that the users array will always have some data. So, here if you see in the create users we are expecting the users arrays last uh, element and then we are adding plus 1, but it is not the case right. So, uh, so in this case what is happening if the users array is empty then we should start from 1 ok. So, here the id is equal to uh, so if users, so if users is having data then only we should do this task ok or, or, or basically do this one, if not else then make the id equal to 1 by default, so in that way it will not fail. So, this kind of things we have to do ok, now since we restart the server we should see two data, let us remove one by one delete, one remote, two remote, then let us go to post request then add one thing, now it should work. Okay. So, this kind of things we need to think about it uh, while uh, designing the actual API, but as part of the uh, demonstration pu purpose it should be uh, should still ok. And now you know that uh, how get put post methods are working and uh, you know uh, how do we uh, implement that using a python program ok. So, in our next video we are going to learn about uh, some authentication and authorization which is also very important. Uh, so, when we are uh, dealing with third party APIs. Uh, they will not open the API for everyone, so they need to control it ok. So, let us see in the next video how do they do it and uh, how do we pass some kind of tokens in the API and then uh, how to work with that ok. So, I hope um, this is helpful for you guys and if you like the video please share it with your friends and I will see you in the next video until then thanks for watching.